let's come up here. I am not starting in Christmas. I'm just, I'm not starting in Christmas. I'm not starting in Christmas, but I'm gonna look at this. <laughs> tell you this video is going to be a mix of the real audio and voiceover because the music was incredibly loud and I am still working out some different things to get better audio so I appreciate you hanging in there with me yes I'm showing you that the speaker was right over my head and I started in the back of the store this time because honestly okay I'll be totally transparent I had to go to the bathroom <laughs> So I worked my way up to the front from there. And they have all of these guess pillows. I'm guessing, uh, see what I did there? I'm guessing they got them from like Target. Look at this cute shade. I don't have anything to put it on. Otherwise I'd get it, but that's a cute shade. I'm trying to see how much it is. Uh, $4.99. That's not bad. That's a cute shade. Let's see. What do they have in the lamps? I'm waiting to find that mid-century score. I mean, this is not mid-century. This is vintage for sure, but it's just not what people are looking for. Okay, let's come up here. I am not starting in Christmas. I'm just, I'm not starting in Christmas. I'm not starting in Christmas, but I'm gonna look at this. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna start in Christmas, but that's funny, but it's, it's nothing for resale value. Okay, so there's some Easter bunnies up there. All right, it's not all Christmas. <sighs> Lots of Christmas though. All right, we will just do this much Christmas and then we'll look at something else. Thomas Kincaid snow globe. Oh. He's just cute. Please keep your children with you at all times. This is for their safety and the convenience of our customers. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello, Goodwill shoppers. In accordance with the CDC guidelines, we ask that you stand at least six feet apart from other customers while shopping and while oh. serving you during These are St. Nicholas Square, which can actually be a pretty good brand. But I sold them at Kohl's for $17.99. And these are $5.99, so probably not, probably not. Oh, I think I see some vintage. These are stats, your Christmas store. Hmm. I think, oh, these, yeah, these were by Holly for stats. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these up because I picked up those other ones that I can put them with. I'm getting a little collection of those vintage ornaments to go all in a thing together. All right. I'm just scanning the shelves. Not much on this shelf. This is a nice little cloche. Oh, it doesn't just come on. Oh, it's a music box. It's by International Silver Company. And it's got a spun angel. 
Hmm, it just, I don't like the way that silver looks. It just, it looks kind of chintzy. Ha! Huh. That's awesome. It's a, oh, it's a Gary Patterson. That's why it's funny. That's the one under it. Let's see. Nope, not a Gary Patterson. All right. Ooh, these are nice. These are stone. Ooh. I think I'll pick these up. These are, I mean, there's some little teeny tiny chips there, but for the most part, these are, these are really nice. Oh, right, we'll get these. I'm kind of attracted to this bunny, but it's nothing. It was only $6.99 new, but he's got a nice look to him. <gasps> Ooh. What are you, my pretty? It's an iridescent starfish. Ah, is he worth six bucks to me? I do kind of dig him. You know what? If he's not worth selling, he can go in my bathroom. I kind of like this bird. He is just a little pottery bird. And he's only $2.99, so... Maybe we'll take a chance on Pottery Bird. I'm finding a lot of stuff that is made by Threshold, which is a Target brand. And I, I know Goodwill gets a lot of stuff from like Target returns and overstock and that doesn't sell. These were really interesting. So the tops were like the same as those jeweled enameled um, trinket boxes. But the bottom was, uh, uh, I believe these were candles. They were taped up so I couldn't untape it and see inside. And it didn't say exactly what it was. I was intrigued um, because the tops were really pretty. They were really cool. Um, but I've never seen these as candle toppers. So I wasn't quite sure. And because they were $6 each, I did decide to leave them behind. But I was torn. And then I spot this cute little mid-century bottle with these antique or vintage cars on them. Now, it would have had a stopper. And so that's why I was kind of wrestling, thinking like I could probably get a cork replacement topper, even though it had a glass topper. Um, worst case, I can make a flower arrangement from it. So it was worth the two bucks I paid. And this, this is a Scentsy um candle wax warmer even though it's not marked scentsy this owl is a scentsy and usually the thrift stores lose the little top pieces so i was quite thrilled to see that this one was complete i always get kind of like revved up when i find a couple of things on the same shelf i get a little more excited then about digging in and looking closer so now i'm going okay what other treasures are on this shelf? None. Let's see what other treasures are on the other shelves. None. Especially not clowns. Sorry for those of you who love clowns. I'm just not a clown person. Don't like them. Just don't like them. I like how they hung that little, little glass vase thing made it look much more appealing. This girl, I was looking to see if she had a mark. I'm 99.9% .9 sure she's just a reproduction piece. Lots of that out there now. Hey, who are you? That is a heavy piece of glass by Dolls. Oh, it's Viking. This is Viking glass. Seven. Mm, I think it's worth twenty. I don't get it. I don't come across the Viking glass very often. Ooh, that's a big bowl. I don't even want to. Don't even want to look. I don't even want to deal with it. I do want to deal with this though. Oh, that's quite heavy. 
It's a little quail, and little quail is going to come with me. Okay, my cart is already getting a little full. What is that? Oh, it's a gourd. That's actually quite interesting. Let's see. They've carved the gourd. Well, that's interesting enough that I think I'm going to get it. All right. Well, I guess I can handle doing a little bit of Christmas stuff now. All right. We will get through a little more Christmas stuff. I mean, we have to. We have to look, right? We can't. Can't just say I'm not going to shop the Christmas. Well, I mean, you can. You can do whatever you want. But if you're like me, you're afraid of missing something. I don't want to miss something. Haha. Uh -huh. Like that. Hmm. That's cute. All right. Come on, Goodwill, give me something good. Give me something good. House of Lloyd's. Christmas Around the World, House of Lloyd's. Talked about this on a recent video. But uh, some of it, some of it does well. Not all of it. I happen to know, I looked up a similar bunny. I looked up Pip and Hop, and they did not bring much, so I'm guessing that these bunnies don't bring much either. Oh yeah, there's Hip and Hop. They're turning up everywhere. There we go. Alright, I just spotted these guys. These are awful cute. Who makes these? Oh, they're 1990. They're 1990 Target. But they are vintage. They are pretty cute. Okay, I'm going to get them. Did you guys know I have a plush store? I really do. I don't give it much attention, but I have one. Uh, okay, Santa, what do you look... Oh, you're not a Santa. You're a reindeer of some kind. Totally thought that was going to be a Santa. Okay, I got one of those carts that doesn't wheel straight, so I'm... I'm struggling just a little bit. Okay, what are you? Handmade glass from Poland ornament. And it's got its little hangy thing. I think I'm going to grab this. Alright. Look. All right, Christmas. We'll leave you right here. I don't quite even know how they're going to do like this big old sale tomorrow when their shelves are empty. But I see something. What are you? Ah, uh, nine ninety nine. Why do you have to be nine ninety nine? You're pretty cool. But uh, I will leave you behind. Somebody will get you for five dollars tomorrow. Okay, what is? It's a bell. Oh, I see the little bell thing underneath there. All I saw was a starfish. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright. Yeah, cool stuff, but nothing that I want to pick up. I'm just not feeling it. This is, looks like it's got some age on it. It's got a mark on the bottom here. This looks like a brutalist piece. 
also looks like something else went on this. Maybe? I don't know. This piece is kind of interesting. I know it's $7.99, but it's one of those pieces that could be a sleeper that I want to get and check it out. Brutalist is an art style from the 1950s, mid-century. It's a mid-century thing. Some stained glass. It's just a single panel. Oh, well, it's kind of nice, huh? Hmm. I think I'll leave it. I will leave it for someone else. All right. All right. This is kind of a cool. It might actually be old. Let's see. What is that mark under there? Us. Lustum. Lustum something it sure does look like teak and it's actually quite heavy you know what i'm gonna grab that for 10 bucks whoops it could always be a rolling pin display at the booth and that's what i'm talking about with going with your gut like i did not know what that was but i felt in my gut it was a good thing and this is not old, it's probably Hobby Lobby, but it's got the cool factor that people like to decorate with nowadays. So for 10 bucks, I put that in the cart as well. Now these other ones, I, I didn't like them as much. Um, I liked the metal one because it had that primitive look. Those look just more like reproduction pieces. And I spot this little purse, it's a little carpet purse. And I see that the, uh, the original handle is down in there. So I'm kind of looking, and then I note that it is broken, but I think that can be pretty easily crimped back on there. So that, it's so clean and so nice, but it didn't have a price. So I had to take it up and see what they would sell it to me for. And they sold it to me for 99 cents. So I was happy with that. These shelves are still so sparse. And then they were having a big, big, big sale like the next day. So I haven't been back to a Goodwill since the big sales. So I wonder if they've got things restocked now. Kind of hoping. Just looking, looking, looking. This was cool. But again, it's, you know, it's just a newer piece. Scanning, scanning the shelves, looking for something good. And I'm right over the speaker, which is why I'm doing the voiceover at this point. Ooh, what is that? Check that out. That's huge. No, we don't want it. Yeah, I, I mean, that thing was cool, but it was huge. <laughs> These are just Oneida. Like even the dishes shelves are pretty, pretty sparse. Now this actually is a Limoges, but not all Limoges is created equal. This one is a transfer. It's not hand painted and it's just nothing exciting. Okay, let's see. Oh, what are you? You are somebody's little craft. I can't read what that says. Backsplash of white salmon, Washington, 77. It unfortunately is pretty chipped up on the edges, but it's cool. I was slightly tempted. Slightly, only slightly. Another painted gourd. Not as fancy as the first one that we found. Ooh, they kind of. Oh, they're they're melamine. 
totally expected those to be pottery. Isn't that crazy? They can make plastic that looks like crazed pottery. Oh, that's just kind of mind blowing. Oh, Coca-Cola glasses again. I know there can be some value in them, but they're not my thing. And I tend to pass on things that are not my thing. Commodore Cruise Line glasses. Hmm. Oh, look, you need to go up here with your buddy. There. I just feel better when I reunite friends. Okay. They need to be together. These are, look at the bottoms of these are all different colors. Yeah, I feel like those are pretty common though. And there's a ton of those Coca-Cola glasses mixed in. Yep, yep, yep. It's another thing, I'm just, I'm not a, not a Coca-Cola person either. What does that say? That says made, oh, hand wash only made in China. All right, got it. This place is hopping, hopping busy. And look, here we have the 70s avocado green glasses. Oh man, what do I want to do with those today? I kind of like these in a funky kind of way. Hmm, what to do? Should I get them? And then there's these, what are these? Let's say Dakik. Dakik. And there's two of them. I may do a quick look up and see if that's anything. Oh, wait, there's another one. All right, I gotta figure out what those are and figure out if I wanna buy those. So I did end up getting those. I found these ones too. I got those ones I was showing you, but then I got these too, which have that green hue. They're heavy. I don't know, they're just they're cool. And then I found four of these, these Dakic, which I'm kind of leaning toward them being like Scandinavian. So what I ended up determining was that those are actually cut wine bottles. And I believe that Dakic is the person's last name that actually did it and etched it in. Kind of interesting. Um, and they are cool. Now I just have to find someone with the last name Dakic to sell them to. This is a really pretty glaze on this. Hmm, it's got no price. And I do, it's just art pottery, but I sure do like that glaze. So if, I, if they'll give this to me for a good price, I'm gonna get this. This has a very atomic mid-century design. Starlight. I think I might, I might get that because I could actually turn that into a little um, flower arrangement if it ends up not really having value on its own. Ooh. Our cart is getting full. I used to pick up every one of these I would find. Some of them sell for really good money still, but I'm not familiar enough to pay $2.99 on the chance that it's a good one because there's more mediocre ones than there are good ones. So it's just not something that is my niche. So I pass them by now. There's always more stuff to buy. This had a mark. I couldn't make out what it was. It was a pretty color, but it was a modern piece. I did love these oyster plates. I, this is one of those ones where um, I'm really torn and feeling like I should have gotten them. 
but they are plates and they are glass and that pretty much was why I left them behind. Just like this really super fragile cake stand. It would have been really difficult to get that shipped in one piece. Uh, false graph. False graph made in China. It's about the worst false graph there is. Okay, I'm kind of laughing. There is toilet paper on the shelves now. That's Mikasa in there. I don't know what this is. Well, I hit the pay dirt for mom between ribbon and yarn and some cool stuff. Um, I will keep my mom's store popping and uh, the ribbon she can use on her fidget sleeves and stuff and sell the rest. So there we go. Okay, I'm kind of digging this little table. Why do I like this little table? Even though it's... Uh, can it be fixed? Oh, it just takes a peggy thing. Nah, it's kind of cheap. All right. I thought maybe it had some age on it, but not enough age to make it exciting. Okay. Can you tell I'm hot? I had to make three trips to get the stuff from the store to the cart. I hate those carts with the poles. Ugh. I love stores that I can just take the cart out, but at least they put some stuff in a box for me too. Um, that was a good haul. I will have to get to this store more often. There we go. All right, um, I have been shopping pretty much all day. It is time to go home and uh, feed my children. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you on the next one. And oh yeah, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already and the little bell, because the little bell will send you a notification every time I upload a new video. All right, see ya.